Hi again, dear students. Okay, today, in today's uh, Spanish lesson, let's practice some Spanish position words. Or actually, let's learn some Spanish uh, position words. And uh, although I have not listed all the position words that the Spanish language has, I believe these would probably be the most used ones, the most frequently used ones, okay? So, in this lesson, I, let's read them together, I'll uh, tell you in which situation each one is used or what does it mean, and uh, in our next class, let's uh, see some examples using uh, some of these words, okay? Let's begin with arriba and abajo. Arriba, abajo. Arriba is up, abajo is down. Okay? Uh, or above and below. Esto está arriba, this is above. Esto está abajo, this is below. Or arriba, abajo, up and down. If we want to say something is on top of something or underneath of thumbs, and under, underneath of something else, we do not use the words arriba, abajo, okay? If we want to say on top, something is on top of something else, we use encima de and debajo de, okay? Actually, many people would use these arriba de or abajo de. The, many people would use those words and the idea will be transmitted easily but that would be grammatically incorrect, okay? That would be wrong. The correct way to speak would be encima de, to say on top of something, and debajo de, underneath or below something, okay? Now, a la derecha de, to the right of something else, okay? And a la izquierda de, to the left of. For example, esto está a la derecha del sofá. This is to the right of the sofa. Or, esto está a la izquierda. This is to the left. You do, we do not actually need to say de and add a word, okay? Afterwards, we don't need, we don't need to add an object. We can just say this is to the left. Esto está a la izquierda, or this is to the left of the sofa, right? Esto está a la izquierda del sofá. Cerca de and lejos de. Cerca means near, lejos means far or far away. Cerca de, near of something, right? Lejos de, far from or far away from something. Okay, example. Um, mi casa está cerca de lo de Juan. My house, my home, is near or nearby from Juan's. Okay? Um, yo vivo lejos de Alemania. I live far away from Germany. Okay? Yo vivo lejos, I live, yo vivo, lejos de, far from, or far away from, Alemania, Germany. Adentro and afuera. Adentro, afuera. Which, what's the difference between adentro and dentro? Or afuera and fuera. Take a listen. Adentro means inside or indoors, okay? Example, yo estoy adentro, I am indoors, or I am inside. Actually, we, in English we would say indoors. El lápiz está adentro, the pencil is inside, okay? We are not specifying inside of something, right? So we say adentro, or the opposite. El lápiz está afuera. The pencil is outside. Juan está afuera. Juan is outside or outdoors. Now, 
dentro de o fuera de. We would say, um, el lápiz está dentro de la caja. The pencil is inside the box. Dentro de. Inside the box. Yo estoy dentro de mi casa. I am inside my home. Right? Juan está fuera de su casa. Juan is outside of his home. Ok? So, Juan está afuera. Juan is outdoors. Or, Juan está fuera de su casa. Juan is outside of his home. Right? So, afuera with A and fuera. Adentro with an A and dentro. Ok? Alrededor de and entre. This means around, alrededor, around of, around something, ok? Alrededor de. And entre means eh, in between, in between of something, right? For example, vamos a correr alrededor de la casa. Alrededor de. Vamos a correr. Let us run. Let's run. Vamos a is the, the let's or let us. Vamos a correr. Let's run. Correr means to run. Alrededor de. Around what? Around something. La casa, the house. Vamos a correr alrededor de la casa. Or... Esto está alrededor. This is around. If we won't say, if we won't specify around what, we will just say around, then we can omit de, okay? And entre means in between of, okay? For example, en este momento, at this moment, en este momento, yo estoy, I am, entre el sofá y el sillón. At this moment, I am, in between. The sofa and the couch. Ok? El sofá y el sillón. Sillón es el couch. Ok? En este momento estoy parado. At this moment I am standing, estoy parado, entre el sofá y el sillón. At this moment I am standing in between of the sofa and the couch. So, entre is in between of. Al lado means beside. Al lado de, beside something, ok? So, example. Yo estoy... Parado, I am standing. Yo estoy parado, I am standing, al lado de la pizarra. I am standing beside the whiteboard, la pizarra. Yo estoy parado al lado de la pizarra. I am standing beside the whiteboard. Al lado de means beside of something. Yes? Or, if we omit de, means that we won't add any additional inf information. For example, La pizarra está al lado. The whiteboard is beside. I'm not saying beside what. I'm just saying it is beside. In Spanish, La pizarra está al lado. So, I do not use de. Okay? Enfrente. Enfrente means in front of or across the street, right? Example. Juan vive enfrente. Juan lives across the street. Enfrente. Enfrente literally means in front of, right? So, we would use it to mean across the street. Enfrente. 
la casa de enfrente means the house across the street. And also, when somebody is in front of us, él está enfrente. He is in front, in front of, in front of me. Él está enfrente, enfrente de mí. Right? Enfrente de mí, in front of me. Or simply, enfrente, in front. Okay? Or we can say, delante de. Delante de literally means ahead of, right? Delante de, ahead of. So, in, in a race, we can say, he is ahead of me. Él está delante de mí. Okay? But also, if somebody is standing right in front, we can also say, él está delante de mí. Right? So, we can use it in a similar way as enfrente. Somebody is in front of us, he is delante de mí, delante de nosotros. We would usually prefer to use enfrente, but if we use delante de, it's also correct. But usually delante de means ahead of, right? And detrás de would be behind of, right? For example, él está detrás de mí. He is behind me. Right? If we add any information to the word behind, we use de. Detrás de mí. Behind me. Right? Detrás de, behind of me. Right? Or if we just simply want to say behind without saying behind who or behind what, then we do not need to use the word de. And we simply say, él está detrás, he is behind. Or, esto está detrás, this is behind. Okay? Or, mi auto está detrás de la pared. My car is behind the wall. Whatever that may mean, okay? Detrás de. And, adelante, atrás. This is similar to arriba and abajo. Delante de and detrás de would be similar to encima de and debajo de, while adelante and atrás would be similar to arriba and abajo, ¿ok? Delante and atrás. Adelante and atrás. Imagine we are inside a car. We say, Juan, Juan is driving, ¿ok? Juan está adelante. Juan is sitting in front, ¿ok? Y María está atrás. María is sitting in the back. María está atrás, with A, atrás, and with A, adelante. Or, let's say, Clara. Clara está sentada adelante. Clara is sitting, is sitting in the front, adelante. And Jaime, Jaime está sentado atrás. Jaime is sitting in the back. ¿Ok? ¿Dónde está esto? Where is this? Está allá adelante. It's there, there in front. ¿Ok? O, ¿dónde está esto? Está allá atrás. It is ooh, in the back. Behind. Atrás. ¿Ok? Ok, so, briefly, I wanted to show you how these... Uh, position words are used, but uh, we will see some examples, uh, okay, in more detail in one of our next lessons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next class again. Goodbye.